the last team in what you would say is the top six in the Premier League. And we thought Newcastle was bad with the lack of signings. Well, Tottenham takes it to an all new level. As we all know, well, we probably all do know that Tottenham didn't really sign anyone at all this summer. So these player ratings are pretty much just last season's ratings with a little bit more. And as I have said before, these ratings aren't from me, they're from the fans. So getting into it, Hugo Lloris, a very good World Cup, lifted the World Cup. He's going to be improving by 1 to an 89. Michel Vorm hasn't really been playing that much because of Lloris's greatness. He's dropping down one. Kieran Trippier, a fantastic World Cup, really has put him on the map. He's going up four to an 82. And Walker Peters, another fullback. He's going up five to a 70. Serge Aurier, he's actually going to be improving by just one, whereas Danny Rose is dropping from an 82 to an 81. So Aurier was going the other way in those ratings. Ben Davies has done very well at left back. He's actually going up by four to an 82. And Jan Vertonghen, as always, a very strong season. He's going to be improving by one. And he's going to be an 86 for the year ahead. Toby Alderweireld wasn't sure if he was going to be staying or leaving. Turns out he has stayed. Hasn't played too much this season, but he's staying as an 86. Davinson Sanchez had a very good World Cup. He's going up two to an 83. We've got Foyth at centre-back. He's going up 6 to a 72. And Eric Dyer, he's down as a centre-back here. He's going to be staying at an 82, but I reckon he probably will be a defensive midfielder for this game. Wanyama, another player, hasn't really done too much in the last year. He's going to be dropping down 1 to an 81. Has a lot of potential, just hasn't really delivered. And Moussa Dembele, every year he seems to be linked with leaving, but still he's going up 1 to an 83. Eric Lamella hasn't always worked out for him at the club. He's going to be staying at just an 80. And Unkudu, he was out of the club last season on loan. He's dropping down one to a 76. Musa Sissoko, again, another player who's kind of been there and thereabouts. He's staying at 77. Lucas Moura didn't work out too much last season, but this season he has come out absolutely flying. He's staying at an 82. Son, luckily enough for him, I think Korea won the Gold Cup or something like that. He doesn't have to do his military duty anymore. He's up 3 to an 85, very well deserved. And Lorente, another player that could have been out of the club. Turns out he's staying. He's still a 78. Delhi Ali, another good season for him. The World Cup, he wasn't too convincing, but still helped England get to the semi-finals. He's up 2 to an 86. I think personally, he'll probably be an 85. And also Harry Winks, another young English talent. He's up 7 to a 79. Two players left, Christian Eriksen, a very good season as always. You can't really put an 89 rating past him. Perhaps an 88, we'll have to wait and see on that. But still, he's done very well. He does deserve it. And finishing off, we have probably their main man, England's captain as well, Harry Kane, up at a 90. There were some provisional ratings that came out already. And it did say, I think, that he was actually an 88. Quite a few people disagreed with that. You can see from his World Cup display, he's one of the best strikers in the world. That's why... We've probably got him up at a 90. That is actually going to be it, though. If you agree or disagree with any of these ratings, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like or dislike the video, make sure you do that as well. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And that is about that. I think we've got about three more videos in this player ratings kind of series to go. So make sure you check those out. And I'll see you all tomorrow on the next video.